Hey everybody, welcome back to Viking MTG. Uh, it's been a little bit, so I wanted to do a reminder about my masterpiece giveaway. Uh, it's a torrential masterpiece, a torrential gear hulk masterpiece. Um, I'm going to be giving away 50 subs. After I hit 50 subscribers, I will schedule a live stream. I will announce the time and date of the live stream on the channel. And I will have, uh, I'll stream it. And if you are on the live stream, when I'm running it, because I want subscribers who actually will, you know, I'm going to give the voice away to a subscriber who pays attention and actually gives a hoot about the channel. Um, so if you're just hoping to subscribe and then hop off, I mean, I doubt you're going to have the commitment to actually show up at the stream. So, uh, but here's Tragic Beer Hulk. Absolutely beautiful, flawless condition. Clearly never played it. Um, it's slightly off center to the right, just a tiny bit, but overall it's in amazing shape. It's got that slight bend like every dang foil in the uh, in the world now with magic. Um, I've got old foils, old foils from the first original foils. They're flat as a board, perfectly flat. And the other giveaway that I've already announced, well, I'm going to be giving away separately an Amon Ket pre-release bundle, a pre-release pack, and um, I'll be opening a Aether Revolt pre-release pack on the channel. Um, I'll open. When, if you win it, I'll open it for the channel and then I'll send you the contents. Whatever you want out of it. If you want the commons as well, just let me know. Uh, but this is the deck that I'm giving away. Uh, and eventually, once we re re reach enough subs, because this is not a dirt cheap deck. It, it's probably a $150 deck, maybe a little more, depending on the price of some of these cards right now. Um, here it is, so I got foilies and stuff like that, um, two Aether Hubs, Scavenger Grounds, you just have to have some Graveyard hate in this deck, in this format, period. You know, if you're up against something that's really whooping you, it's good to have a little Graveyard hate. Most likely, playing this deck, you're not going to want to wipe your own Graveyard, but it's good to have around. If you're... If you don't have a lot in the graveyard, or somebody did it to you, uh, you know, to get your get rid of your stuff, and they've piled up their graveyard, then you can blast them back. A um, bunch of full art for us. The full art, the beautiful full arts. I love them. I've heard some people snuff them, but uh, I like them. Oh no, this is my mono green deck. Duh! I'll have to find the the other one. Um. It's the Rat Colony deck. I posted it. I grabbed the wrong deck here. This is my mono green. I'll just let you guys see my mono green. Tell me what you think. Um, it's mono green, but it has uh, black sideboarded. Two Galtas, the, a foil and a promo foil. foil land, four Land of War Elves, of course. I'm going to keep it all on the screen here. Uh, four resilient Kenras, three of them in foil, um, two Ronuses, Servants of the Conduit, I want to incorporate energy into this, I think energy's, being able to incorporate energy to a certain extent is very useful. Steel of Champions. Territorial Sources, Thrashing Brontodones, Venturous Impulses, Blossoming Defenses, Commit, Heart of Kieran, three of them, Sky Sovereign, and then Sideboard, Aethersphere Harvesters, another Blossoming Defense, uh, Crushing Canopy, which I think is huge in this format. I mean, that's the Kills Alira. Done. Uh, Galta. The Crusher's Bestiary, Nature's Way, The Gate, 
Nissa Vital Force, and another Sky Sovereign. Yeah, I think this is an awesome deck. Um, yeah, I'll have to search the for the Rat Colony deck. Uh, I'm pretty sure I just have another box in there, but I'm not going to waste more time going and searching. Um, make you sit here. So I posted it previously on another video. Uh, oh yeah, and one Verderous Gear Hulk. I might go to two. We'll see. I'm not sure whether I want to play more than one of those. Uh, they're a little redundant. Once you get, if you get two out, yeah, you got two big derps, but and they're easily removed. Braska's Contempts and uh, fight, Pumped Fight with Fire. There's a lot of ways to get rid of a big gear hulk. Uh, but that's just one of my decks. And I love these little Amonkhet boxes. I don't know why I like them so much, but I do. I love these little Amonkhet boxes. They just pop your deck in there. It fits sleeve decks too. The Wizards actually thought about that. And you just pop it up, bam, pull your deck out when you're done. Put it back, close, even snap shut. So, nice little feature. And yeah, the Torrential Gear Hulk. So, keep that in mind. I'm giving that away uh, once I hit 50 subs. You just gotta be on stream and be paying attention. So, I uh, hope everybody has a wonderful rest of their week. And like I uh, said in my uh, Army Kid opening, I'll be opening some Iron Death Station this week too. So, Everybody have a great week. Like, comment, subscribe.